All right, fixing the turbocharger. Here's the new part you can see right here. On the old part, this hole wears out of round, and then your turbo starts throwing errors about the emission system. The old part, if you can see it, is right down there. And you can see from my headlamp, it's casting a shadow showing that it's out of round and leaves a gap. So hopefully the new, the new one will go down there like that, fit snug to the linkage and fix it. And I've heard that we can get to that without removing the turbo or too much stuff. We may take off the intercooler uh, just to give us a little more room. That doesn't seem too difficult. They say patience and a couple wrenches and maybe tying a string around the threaded part of the new part when it goes in and I think I may try to run a string through that gap in the the worn gap in the old part to help pull it out because otherwise you can drop it and it's tricky to find so let's see how we do all right haven't yet found a need to take off the actual intercooler um, the cover came off it was just four bolts now, if you look down here, all right, we've wrapped a piece of wire through the gap so that we don't lose this thing if it just falls freely. Bottom, this locking nut right here, and then you've got this collar. They're both 10 millimeter. I'm using a 10 millimeter wrench. You take one 10 millimeter wrench and you loosen it. You loosen it by turning it, because of the way this is threaded, this wrench goes to the right, so from my perspective, it's counterclockwise. And then the top collar, or whatever this thing is up here, loosens in the opposite direction pretty easily. So we're loosening it up and trying to get it out, and we'll see what happens. All right, so it's now off and just needs to be pulled out. You can see there the locking nut, the bottom nut is still there on the bottom. And uh, this top nut, or sleeve or whatever the hell it is. Um, we turned it from our perspective clockwise until it backed off that threaded shaft. And we've got the wire wrapped around it and apparently there's enough room to remove it from the linkage. We just need to get that. Okay, got the old one out. This is the old part. Here's the new part. You can see uh, how worn the old one is. And that is what throws the error code, just being too loose. Anyway, it was in there like that. And we put wire inside this right here like this. And it was being held on on the back side, which you could had a hard time seeing, with a little C-clip thing right there. So we stuck a screwdriver in and rotated the C-clip around until we could see the slot. Ran a wire through that so we were less likely to lose it. And then used a screwdriver just to it out that way and then there was enough wiggle room where if we tried hard enough we could pull this out of there and like I said we ran wire to everything so we were less likely to lose it in the engine so we take that off put the new one in move the nut over to that and hopefully everything lines up okay all right got our wire wrapped around our C a little C clamp thing and we got it wrapped on the threaded part between the nut in the bottom of the actuating clip right there. So we lose it, we probably would not have room to run it through the hole this time since this hole should fit snugly. So we're gonna put everything in like that. And hopefully it will fit and hopefully we'll be good. Okay, we've got it back in. After attaching the wire to all the pieces and even my tools so I don't lose that like a dumbass, um, we put the uh, re the uh, the new actuator piece around the linkage right there seems to fit more snugly and then slid the c-clip behind it on the other side of the piece down into it which was kind of difficult to line up but we did it without removing anything you, anything else we just used our fingers felt around and slid it down right on there and gave it a good bit of force and it popped in place. And then we got the, you can see the barrel 
up above the new actuator piece. We got that to start threading down by grabbing the threads of the new piece with vice grips to kind of hold it up in place. We leverage that with one hand while using our 10 millimeter uh, wrench, screwing in a counterclockwise motion to start threading on. We went, we went clockwise for a couple turns to try to get it seated and then counterclockwise to start threading it down. And it's threading down now, so hopefully that's that. Okay, new part is in, got the wires off. Hopefully that's right. Uh, one thing that's important to note is uh, when you are unscrewing it uh, to to take off the old piece, after you get that barrel, that uh, 10 millimeter barrel off the old actuator part, stop immediately. Don't keep unscrewing because you want it to screw down and be the same length when it goes on the new part. Now it's coming, that barrel, as it unscrews from the thread, uh, is effectively screwing further onto another thread up in here. So the distance between the two threads shouldn't change as long as you stop unscrewing as soon as it's off of the thing, as soon as it's off the old part. So as soon as it's off the old part, don't keep unscrewing. Just take the old part back, put the new one on, get it to thread down immediately on it, and uh, you should be golden. So hopefully that's it. I'll put a link to the uh, to the part, which I got fabricated by a guy in Canada. I'll put his contact information or something in the comments. Like and subscribe. Hit me up again. All the I don't I don't fucking care. All right, thanks guys.